All right, so Ted Cruz um, on his podcast here is talking to Michael Knowles, the Daily Wire D-stringer, and um, they go after Liz Cheney. Now, there's many parts of this that I find absolutely hilarious. So the headline in Mediaite is, Ted Cruz says Trump broke Liz Cheney. She has, quote, just become a liberal Democrat. What? <laughs> I don't know how anybody can make that argument. All right, let's listen, and we'll break it down as we go. Liz Cheney, I, I've known Liz a long time. I've known her 20 plus years. Uh, you know, there are some people who Donald Trump just broke. They, they just, yeah. they hate Trump. Okay. Donald Trump broke Ted Cruz. Because here's a guy who was talking about how your wife is unfuckable and he wouldn't even fuck your wife. Remember the whole spill the beans retweet back in 2016? He's a guy who said, your dad killed JFK. This is who Donald Trump is. He unmanned you repeatedly in the GOP primary debates. And then, you know what? Ted went out at the Republican convention after Trump had already gotten the nomination, and he said, vote your conscience. So in other words, he didn't endorse Trump. And then what happened? Behind the scenes, Ted Cruz's donors and the Republican establishment said, you better fall in line, bitch. And Ted Cruz put his tail between his legs and he was phone banking for Donald Trump with the saddest face I've ever seen in my life after that. He did a total 180. So you know who Trump has broken? You, Ted. Talking about Liz Cheney, and she's got a million flaws and we'll talk about them, um, but she's the one who stood up to him on his main new litmus test where he says, look, I, the election was rigged. I won it. It was stolen. Um... January 6th was a bunch of patriots. And Liz Cheney on, on those things says, hell no, not even close, wrong. And so she found a backbone and, and one single shred of integrity. She has, has 7% integrity because she voted 93% of the time with Trump, right? And Ted Cruz has none, none whatsoever. So Trump broke you. That's what happened. All right, let's continue. So much... That, that their mind went on Fritz. And, and, and I got to say, Liz is unrecognizable. She has become a left-wing Democrat now. And, and like 10 years... I love the admission that's embedded in this from Ted Cruz. The admission is, to me, politics is not about policy. To me, politics is about how you make me feel in terms of what you're saying and doing. Because Liz Cheney voted 93% of the time with Donald Trump. If she was still in Congress, she would continue to vote 93% of the time along with his ideological worldview. A guy like Ted Cruz looks at that and says, no, you're a liberal Democrat. Why? Because on one issue that you care about, where you speak up, where you disagree with me, that defines you. So forget the policy record. Guys, there's nothing more real in politics than if you're a politician and we talk about your voting record. That is the most real version of politics. It's how are you voting? What are you in favor of? What laws are you trying to actually enact? And so Liz Cheney says, 93% of the time I agree with Donald Trump. 93%. Ted Cruz looks at that and says, well, you're a liberal Democrat. Why? Because you acknowledge the reality that this guy lost the election. There were over 60 court cases. He lost almost every single one of them. You say, oh, I think those court cases are right. Court cases, which, by the way, were presided over by uh, Republican judges and even Trump-appointed judges. And he says, no, you have to deny that reality in order to be a good conservative Republican in good standing. Well, doesn't that say a lot about the conservative Republicans? Doesn't that say a lot about the whole party? I think it does, Ted. I think it does. You're telling on yourself. Years ago, the idea that Liz Cheney was a left-wing Democrat would have been ludicrous. Obviously, her dad... It's still ludicrous, you fucking dipshit. Dad was Dick Cheney. Uh, he was a conservative Republican. She was... Look, they're both too neocon for me. They're both too eager to get us involved in foreign wars. This is Ted Cruz revisionist history because he agrees with them. His voting record is in agreement with Liz Cheney and Dick Cheney on that. It's only since Trump came along and postured like he was anti-war that Ted Cruz saw that that's where the winds of the, the electorate were going. And he was like, oh, yeah, totally. Me too, bro. Me too. I'm against war. Well, you voted for all of them. You supported all of them, all of your rhetoric. 
So now he's doing revisionist history about his, his himself. He's right that Liz Cheney and Dick Cheney are in favor of every single war. He's right about that. He's right. But so were you. But now you're burying that fact about yourself because you're trying to appeal more to the Trump people so that when Trump is out of the picture, that's when you want to run for president. And that's when you want to win. And Ted Cruz is smart enough to know, hey, Trump is still the guy. Trump's going to run in 2024, and I'll wait until 2028 or something. And if I'm sycophantic enough, then he'll pick me. This is what he's thinking. He is a calculating, slimy, wheezy, mo- mo- weaselly motherfucker. That's what he is. But that being said, on taxes, on social issues, on most issues, Liz Cheney was yeah. a down-the-road conservative Republican. She still is. Whether or not you like it, whether or not you acknowledge it, that is the factual reality of Liz Cheney. Uh, and by the way, that's where Wyoming is. And, and, and then Trump came into power and her mind just shattered. And, and Her mind shattered when he said, I won the election, even though he lost the election. Her mind shattered when he tried the most lowbrow attempt to steal an election in human history. Because Liz Cheney has no principled objection to stealing elections. Her daddy did. But the way Trump went about it, she was like, okay, no, this is crazy. And and she what's amazing is that she's become it's not even just that she says, "Okay, I I don't like Donald Trump. Like, I don't like his what he says. I don't like how he acts. That's I understand someone who says that I don't like everything he says and does. I like the policies we enacted together. I worked closely with him on that. But she doesn't limit it to that. It's it's like Bill Kristol is someone else. like. Yeah, she doesn't limit it to that. She limits it to. Please don't steal the election, the one that you obviously lost by 7 million votes where Biden had over 300 electoral votes and you weren't even fucking close and 60 court cases verified that. Please don't do that. Weird, bro. She can't get over that little piece. It's fucking crazy. Like yep. Liz Cheney, who has just become a liberal Democrat, who what they say, you know, Cheney's uh, circus act on, on the January 6th commission is indistinguishable from what Nancy Pelosi would say. It's indistinguishable from what Chuck... Yeah, because she thinks they are right on that issue. And you know what? They are right on that issue. Far be it from me to criticize the likes of Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi. I despise these motherfuckers. But they're right on January 6th, and they're obviously right on January 6th. Ted is so sad because he's smart enough to know. He's smart enough to know. Trump didn't win that fucking election, but he doesn't have the balls to stand up as a matter of principle to say, hey, man, this is really fucked up. He doesn't have the balls. Schumer would say. And so we just had the primary and, and in, in Wyoming and, and, you know, she had won by, I don't know, 70, 80% last time around in the primary. This time she didn't just lose. She lost by almost 40 points. 39 points is what she lost by. And the reason is simple. She doesn't represent the people of Wyoming anymore. The people that is total bullshit the people of wyoming are very conservative they are they're very conservative the thing is she stood up to the cult and trump has tried to remake the entire republican base in his image as a cult and so now the main litmus test to the far right base the trump base is do you think the election was stolen do you think donald trump should be uh you know put in as dictator or emperor do you think we should redo the election as trump said the other day on truth social that's the thing trump has successfully turned 30 percent of the country into a total cult with him as their dear leader they are totally sycophantic to him so that has become the only litmus test among those people now the good news is it's only about 30 percent of the country that's the good news the bad news is it's 30 percent of the country right and a lot of them happen to be in wyoming but, but look at the way he's dishonestly talking about this. People of Wyoming are conservative. And she's decided she is a Washington, D.C. left-wing Democrat now. And so it's completely unsurprising, you know, right after she gets just trounced by the voters. Yeah. There's no remorse. There's no contrition. There's no, gosh. Could that be because she's correct about the things she took a stand on? Maybe that's why there's no remorse. Maybe that's why there's no remorse. She's just, he said she's just a left-wing Democrat. Again, he's admitting policy doesn't matter. It's the feels you give off. It's the vibes you give off. If you disagree with me on one thing, well, then I'm just going to accuse you of being with the political opposition, even though 93% of the time you vote with me. Unbelievable, man. You know, for some reason, the people of Wyoming don't think I'm representing them anymore. There's none of that. 
It is instead, she says, it's her mission to do what? Defeat conservative Republicans. And I guess it's a badge of honor that defeat election deniers is what she says. She wants the old school Republican Party back. She wants the Mitt Romney types to be in control, the John McCain types to be in control. Now, understand something. I am just as big of an opponent as the John McCain's and the Mitt Romney's as I am of the Donald Trump's. So, but would I like the party to drop that one main litmus test of you have to say the 2020 election was rigged? Yes! Yes! Of course I do. Of course I want that. I don't want some sort of open, dictatorial, right-wing party. I don't want that. So I'm going to fight, the if the party goes back to the Mitt Romney types and the, and the John McCain types, I'm going to fight them. I'm going to fight them relentlessly. I'm going to do that. But I also would prefer to fight them versus fighting people who are wrong on every single issue and they say the election was stolen, which they're not right about. God, he's so insufferable. I'm the number one person on her list that she's going to take the PAC money she raised, and I think she's got like seven, eight million dollars that wow. that came from lefty Democrats all over the place. Not true. And she's going to use that now to attack Republicans. That's not true about the lefty Democrats. Liz Cheney. Not true. I, I'm not- it's not true about the lefty Democrats. It's just not true. That money came from the Koch brothers and other right-wing donors who are tired of Trump. Ted Cruz is just a liar. He's just a liar. That's obvious. It's pathetic. Uh, nobody has had a, a less accurate political analysis I've ever seen in my life than what he just did right there. If you want to see me and Crystal Ball interview legends like Noam Chomsky, Cornell West, and more, subscribe to Crystal Kyle and Friends on Substack. $5 a month gets you the video version a day early. Remember, we take zero ad dollars for this podcast. Or you can sign up on Substack for free and get the audio version a day later. Link in the video description box below.